Okay, our next presenter, introducing our next presenter, is none other than tech journalist Mark Saltzman. How about a big hand for Mark? Hey guys, having fun? Woohoo! Amazing robots. Holy man, karaoke. This is all really fun stuff, but as Robin Raskin, our fearless leader, said, some of this tech can actually change the world. And uh, I'm thrilled to be up here to present uh, the, this company that I think can do it. And you know, as a, as a tech journalist, and I know there are a few in the room, we get a lot, hundreds, thousands of products sometimes to look at over a long period of time. And very few of them make you say, shut the front door. This is unbelievable. Also, uh, on a related note, anybody here has a uh, run or work for a tech company that has ever tried to get funding? Any show of hands? There's a few people, yeah, Kickstarter or anything like that. You know how daunting that can be. Imagine setting a goal, uh, not even a modest goal, but $200,000 goal on Kickstarter. This next company, Sayo, that I'm introducing, made uh, uh, or, or gathered rather $2.6 million instead of the $200,000 pledge uh, goal. They, they were pledged $2.6 million. And I think when you see this thing that may look like a pack of Tic Tacs, it's going to blow you away what it can do. I'd love to introduce the CEO of Consumer Physics, Dror Sharon, as well as his colleagues, Damien and Omer. Please welcome them. Can we start the video? The technology at our fingertips can help us do amazing things. It can help us navigate the world, know which restaurant to book tonight, or know what song is playing on the radio. But when it comes to the actual stuff around us, if you're not sure or just don't know, well, you're on your own. Sayo is the first molecular sensor that fits in the palm of your hand. It scans the molecular fingerprint of an object and provides relevant instant information about its chemical makeup. Imagine if there was a way to know the chemical makeup of almost everything you come in contact with. The applications are endless. Sayo uses a tiny optical sensor called a spectrometer, which absorbs light reflected back from an object and breaks it down into a spectrum. The spectrum is then sent to our cloud for analysis, and our algorithms send back the result to your phone in real time. Spectrometers are used today in labs around the world, but they're too large and expensive for everyday use. It empowers us all to explore new frontiers right under our noses. You don't have to be a scientist. You just have to follow your curiosity. That has tremendous implications for research, for medicine, for education, for our food system, and for our environment. You can also get our development kit and build applications of your own. Join the journey, get your own SIO, explore more. Anybody want to see a demo? Let's do it. OK. So with me here is Damien, my co-founder, Omer, system engineer. And we invest in Sayo, which is a pocketable spectrophotometer that can actually sense food, medicine, plants, and basically anything around the us. We're going to start, we're going to start first. On, uh, cell phone on the screen? We're going to put the cell phone on the screen. OK. okay so the first we app we're going to try is caloric content of cheese in real time. Can you read this? How many calories is in this cheese? What does it say? Can you read this? So it says 80 calories. What does it say? We can't read it. How many calories? 80. 80. So it says 80 right here on this package. We just bought it on Walgreens the other day. Amazing. The well, next thing we're going to do, we're going to test a pill in real time. So Damien is actually going to get a pill, put it inside our little uh, pill test box. We're going to now test it. The results are being sent to the phone in real time. We have a cloud working. And as you can see on the screen, this is Advil liquid gel. Now you wonder, well, you know, Advil is ibuprofen. Is there another type of Advil out there? Yes, there is. So we're going to try another one so that we just bought at C, uh, the CVS next door. So let's try this one. Uh, so what, what, what really happens? When you press a button, Sayo illuminates a sample, creates a fingerprint. That fingerprint is sent to our cloud for analysis. We have a database that is ever growing of your physical world. We're on a quest to build the world's largest fingerprint database of our physical world. Advil. So even though it's the same Advil proofing, it's different. 
And now a special treat for you guys. Cool. This is the first time we've tried this on stage. We're gonna try to differentiate between, cool. we're gonna do the Sayo Pepsi Coca-Cola Challenge. Everybody ready for this? Okay, so what we're gonna do now, it's a little bit of a chemistry set, kind of what your kids would love to do it at home when we're 15 or when we're eight. So we're gonna put it inside, Omar and Damien are pouring this, and we're gonna try to separate between Coke and Pepsi. Now imagine this little yeah. sensor, which if you can focus it here, this is the size of the sensor. Can you focus on my hand? Yep, very small. This size of the sensor, what if it was embedded inside that huge robot that you just saw? You'd build somebody that can measure clothes and the sensor, oh, this is really plastic. It's not really silk, right? You can actually embed this inside every wearable device, every smartphone. Okay, here Every we go. internet connected device, and we're going. So, you ready? Drum roll, we're gonna try this in real time. Yeah. So this is Coke. Now we're gonna see if we can try to find out the Pepsi. One second. And, and give it up for Sayo, man. Thank you. In real time, thank you very much. Sayo, everybody, come on. Do not aim that thing at me. I do not want to know what's inside here. Wow, that's fantastic. The Coke Pepsi Challenge, well done. Well done, gentlemen. Oh, thank you, I can use the Advil. <laughs> what do you mean, uh, now you're scaring me. No, I'm kidding. All right. Next.